Hey, hey, everybody! Callisto here, and welcome back. New episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Doing everything big. <laughs> Today we are gonna start on a little project called Roads. So I have just shaved off a piece of the land right here and I've started to put down just some cobblestone. I'm not sure if this is the what we're gonna go for but right now in my head this was a good idea. Stairs on this side which, uh, which uh, creates some small canals you know for water to flow so the roads don't get flooded. Another option could be to remove. Let's see. Do we? No, we don't. Let's get some slabs. And there we have it. And while I replace the blocks with slabs, I'm gonna tell you a little scary story about uh, lava and death. That is correct. I have died once, tried to swim in lava. Uh, must have been the luckiest man alive because we did not lose our pickaxe. Got a little bit uh, distracted there. I think we should be able to mute that out okay. So where was I? Yeah, lava. I did sleep by the way got some stuff uh, fell into well I was collecting some gold silky touchy and there was a lava below and I got shot by a skeleton and boom I fell off and into lava luckily it was very close to edge so as I swam to safety I died like just before I could get out of the lava so uh, a sword and Pickaxe landed on the edge along with uh, my uh, helmet and chest plate. Uh, I lost, well, obviously, uh, the shoes and pants. Ton of wood, I lost a ton of ore and lots of block. But uh, luckily, we did not lose our pickaxe. Anyways, back to the roads. So we have a pristine dock. No messy building stuff here. As for the roads, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I do feel a little bit like, you know, that's uh, five blocks. This is the small roads, by the way. I feel a little bit like doing, you know, the messy stuff that we usually do. So you break out some blocks here and there. Well, oh, that's not good. That's very patterny. Let's say uh, like so, and we throw in a little bit of this here and there. We throw in some, uh, not you, I said a gravel and smooth stone here and there for our road. I like, uh, well, I like starting to like this slightly better uh, it's just a matter of making it you know messy so it looks a bit worn uh, compared to the perfect roads which are in pristine order the difficult part is that if we do messy roads uh, like uh, this bit we should do something with our docks also. Let's say, do I have an axe? No, I don't, but I can grab an axe real quick and let's just try a little something. So if we grab, let's say the brightest is the oak. Let's grab a few pieces of that and a axe. 
perhaps a few spruces and we'll also probably get some jungle when and if we can find one so we can change out some pieces you know for uh, other types of wood to break it up a bit but what is the best Yeah, I do like messy road, but also I like clean roads. I like also, you know, I'm gonna sort of make the decision. So we'll do clean, as clean as possible anyway. And uh, if we decide to, we can start to break it up afterwards. So we'll start with the, oh, let's gravel the clean roads and I think we'll just do we could have to gravel for the small roads mm, yeah we'll do gravel for the small roads and we'll do a large variant of this for our main roads I think that's a good idea it's gonna be difficult because we have no gravel I got like I think that's all the gravel I have, 10 pieces. There's a ton of gravel at the bottom of the ocean, but before we can get to that, we should need some form of, uh, I didn't even bring my shovel. Boo, ba, ooh, you know. Um, maybe some potion of water breathing or, um, and respiration and depth strider and all the good stuff should be helpful before we get to that part but we can start by making room for our roads so we're gonna have the small roads at five i think i think they'll be good or should we do seven one two three four five yeah, we'll do seven. Seven for the small roads. Let's write that down. And the big roads, well, we'll see when we get to a big road. So before we get to that, I'm gonna take a million shovels and I'm gonna widen this by two. And I also, you know, so you got five, six, seven. I fill in this so we can put gravel and stuff on top. This is the width of our road, and at this level is where our, you know, housing and residential areas will begin. So we can just leave this uh, one deep, and we fill this in with dirt, and grass will spread, and it'll be perfect. Um, I'll be right back. So let's do a quick little update, not much, but a little something. So we have a seven wide going all the way down here and a diagonal upwards this way. Now, since we did a small change all the way up there at the docks, I have to figure out how to make the path come up there and meet the wall. I might also have to you know place a little bit of the wall to get it uh, to sit like we want another important thing is our little spider spawner let's uh, we had to shut it down uh, because well we didn't do much with it we just left it like this without the torches obviously but that means that anything can spawn in here right so when i came home from a tiny whiny mining expedition in our mines over there I kept hearing witches so I went down I came to about here and I could see like three witches which instantly started uh, throwing their potions at me and they came streaming out the stairs I think I had like six or seven in total running around throwing potions and stuff so we need to dig that one out properly and make some sort of water trap and that stuff so we don't get uh, 
so many witches and the creepers as we had down there. So I'm gonna continue to place a bit more of uh, sand and so shape the road that goes along, well at least along the docks here. And uh, after that we have to figure out how, uh, uh, perhaps you have to start a little bit on the wall to get a shape so we know how to shape the wall again, or, uh, which is gonna go alongside the, uh, inside of the city walls. Well, let's place some more dirt, sleep first, uh, soon, and we'll be back in a few. So we have climbed upwards to try and have a feel for how long this diagonal wall has to be. I keep looking at the map and I keep thinking we should go a bit longer maybe as much as somewhere up close to that island there in oh yeah i turned up the render distance from 10 to 14 so we'll see how that goes so yeah sunny setting it's gonna be dangerous around here so let's get down and sleep there's a bed here somewhere and extend the diagonal wall mm, at least not as much as the whole of it, but maybe as much as half of it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good distance. So let's uh, ex sleep, extend and do some work uh, and we'll be right back. Right, let's have a look. I'm basically all out of dirt. So yeah, uh, I extended the wall with approximate uh, exactly 20 blocks on the diagonal that's uh, the size we had was 39 so I added 20 more which brings us up to the end point uh, right over here and then I did 70 blocks uh, this way which should be a here size for a I don't know short wall or what you might call it but this is gonna be basically a long flat slab of uh, stone brick uh, a big giant wall so what's gonna be we have the diagonal wall uh, this is gonna be the road the small road on the inside and up here is gonna be where we have houses and buildings and that kind of stuff. Now I also did a little... Uh, I thought about the roads. We said gravel only. That's never gonna work. Uh, there's a lot of delicious gravel down here, but no. We're gonna do the messy road with a mix of gravel, cobblestone, smooth stone, and the site. And since we are in 1.12.1, we also have the concrete and concrete powder. So we'll mix some of that in there and maybe even some gray wool. That would be light gray wool. We'll take all the different gray colors that the game has and we're gonna use that for our road. That also includes stone bricks in that should give us a and also stone slab so that should provide us with a sufficient amount of variation for a road to break it up a bit and it should also provide with a sufficient amount of slabs and stairs which we can use when we are building our roads to go up the slopes so the reason why I chose this area is because it's somewhat flat so we're gonna shave off a few pieces but we are gonna keep uh, most of the landscape as it is so we have uh, you know some slight height variations here and there and some pieces like this uh, here piece is we see a small Right at the top we're gonna shave this one off which will provide us with more dirt for 
our scaffolding alongside with the city wall. So basically what I'm gonna do in the near foreseeable future is mine dirt and continue placing the road down there uh, along the inside of the wall and when that's done well we'll see how far i get and how much we got time for in uh, one episode so yeah this is gonna be fun right let's have a walk shall we let's just start right here so we filled in these parts I'm just gonna drop some torches as I move along here because otherwise it's gonna be getting dangerous real fast. So we got this is the small inner wall. So it's gonna be a huge wall here for the city wall. Wall road. This is the small road and this is the wall. Stupid Callisto. Get your stuff straight. So yeah, I think this should provide with <laughs> adequate space on the inside of the wall. This is gonna be so huge. <laughs> uh, we might have bitten over more than we can chew here. Maybe. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. So we're gonna keep the landscape mostly as is. So it's gonna be a bit more curved, uh, bumpy, hilly terrain on this side, as on the, uh, that side and backwards it's gonna be more flat. So yeah, we have uh, the road uh, which it's gonna fill this space so we're gonna have some areas where there are some extra space so we're gonna use for you know as we, I don't some hay bales or stuff I don't know so yeah this is gonna be so freaking cool so I'm gonna uh, try and have a look at the map because our road uh, this one is supposed to extend that way somewhere around here now, according to the drawings it should be slightly in the middle of this one but that would give us a very sharp edge there over there so we're gonna move it a bit downwards we're gonna try somewhere around here i think and extend it that way and that's gonna meet up with no, it's that's not gonna work. I have to make some more thinking, but I can't do that in the middle of the night because I'm scared. Skeletons, zombies, all kinds of dangerous creatures. So yeah, well, let's see if we put a wall. Uh, sorry, road. I said down here. Let's just make a few blocks so that can be the center of it and let's also take one two three one two three of these away let's do like so and we'll bring this one out one two three let's see and let's drop a torch in the middle of it uh, middle I said so let's have a look so, yeah. yeah that's not too bad well that's gonna go way back in a straight line so we're gonna have to seriously shave off this mountain a little bit so we have to terraform this entire entire hill or maybe not we could Yes, we could we could do many many things let me try and dig that way a really really long way and place down uh, the template so to speak and we'll see how it, how it turns out 
let's do a, another quick update. Um, not too much progress. I did the road and I'm now currently looking at the map next to me, which should bring this one out and over to a straight line. No, sorry. Outwards and then a 45 degree inwards like this. That might actually work. So this one needs to come. I need to meet somewhere. So let's have... And somewhere in between here we're gonna have a diagonal running off that one and into this. So this might actually be quite spot on. I was thinking we have to take this and go straight to hit that one, but maybe we don't. Uh, what is definitely for sure is that I need to shave down this island all the way. Let's see. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's just chop down all these woods, all these trees, and uh, shave the island. Another quick update. We have done the layout for the uh, for the road along the wall, a sharp 90 degree angle, and back towards this way. The wall will come later. But that's why we have silk touch, so we can chop all the smooth stone and craft the stone bricks. I have a feeling that it's gonna break quite fast. I'm currently in the process of uh, filling in all of this. So we're gonna have a nice piece of flat land here for construction and buildings and whatnot. Uh, the road is gonna go flat all the way here all the way around and when we get the the wall in place along this uh, ridge we might elevate the wall slightly upwards and downwards so that it kind of follows the flow of the out wall so you just elevate also maybe a, a piece of the land mass on the inside here so it's not completely flat because that's gonna be boring so yeah, the job remains, you gotta take down all of these trees, you gotta fill all this in with dirt and let the grass grow. Now there's been a large number of updates and I have no idea how long time we've had, but that's all I have time for on today, so to speak, it's Friday. So the, it's not the end of the episode, but next time I'll be able to record, it'll probably be Monday. So I'm going to take the save game with me. So from this cut to the next, expect some large progress to be made on the area here. And also maybe the road. We'll have to see. Anyways, uh, I'll take a quick sleepy sleepy. And when I get back. It'll be Monday for me and it's Friday today. So BRBs. And we're back. It's been a full weekend for me. Uh, I brought the world with me on a USB flash drive and that worked out just fine. And I've put in some hours. We had a let's sleep real quick. We had a weekend with uh, a lot of rain, so not so much uh, time outside. But we uh, had some work done inside in the cabin and uh, played some games with the kids and had some fun. And I also uh, managed to put in some hours right here. So I have put down the road I started over there and put down cobblestone and I started adding andesite and gravel and all that and I ended up uh, doing that all the way to our intersection here and then I tore it all down and did stairs and slabs with cobblestone and we are out of shovels I've been uh, flattening down this hill here just a little bit so we're gonna 
grab the coal and I will fill this in with dirt so we have the, the a slightly lower elevation here than over there and slightly higher again than the plateau where we started off over there. I have also been looking at the footage and we are fast running out of time but I would like you to see the amount of work I've managed to put down this weekend. I've saved one flower. <laughs> so this is not a completely box. I did the wall, uh, the inside wall. Uh, it's five tall from the top of the stairs. I thought that was a good height from the inside. Uh, then the inside and the outside and just about started on the top so we're gonna have some sort of battlements on top here of course and we also gonna need to do something on the inside uh, hallways uh, stairs up and down and uh, those kind of things this is just the inside wall uh, and we did follow the landscape over here so that's both the inside and the outside let's uh, jump on top of this one and have a quick look. Oop, let's not fall down. So uh, to make the wall flow sort of with the hill here. And I'm also trying to put in some dirt here, uh, which is oops, just hollow on the inside. And see if you can't make a slight elevation with the road going up and down. So we'll of course fill in some more dirt over here. Currently this is all just flat and it's gonna stay mostly flat. Uh, and this is not of course gonna be the only road around here. This is gonna be like the main small road. It's gonna follow the wall all the way around. Uh, we are gonna have a same sized road. Let's see, do I have the map? Yes, I do, which According to our drawing, it should go from somewhere over there and it should connect wherever we put the next turn in the wall, which I'm thinking gonna be right here for the outside wall on that block there. So this one will be 13 more inwards, which should put it somewhere around here. We should make a 45 degree uh, road also going here. That's gonna leave a slightly narrow section over here so I'm, I'm not sure we're gonna do that what we might do is take and do a count from there to there and find somewhere around the middle and do a row straight across maybe I'll have to look into that anyways I hope you enjoy the amount of hours I've put into this so far and we have barely made a dent. Like this is, I don't know, 120th, 150th of the city itself. So it, uh, it's gonna be huge. Of course, we're gonna take away some of the sand, replace that with dirt. So we get like uh, rolling hills going. And we are also gonna push the slope a little bit backwards and I'm thinking that we should do our um, main house base building maybe over here uh, I have been doing some thinking where to put various buildings and such so we're gonna need one of the first buildings we're gonna do is a uh, sort of fisherman's uh, building sort of shop storage th thing for the fishermen and i'm thinking that's gonna go somewhere around here uh, that place is obviously gonna need a basement because that's where we're gonna put our fish farm for instance so you're gonna need a bit of room for chests for the loot when fishing uh, and since this is close to the main dock area or at least this is a wharf thing going out here. I think this is a good spot for uh, various storage buildings of the sorts. And well, we'll figure all that out. Make sure you leave some ideas, if you have any, in the comments below. 
And yeah. Oh, one more thing. I have no idea how many shovels I've been through, but it's been quite a lot. And obviously also a sizable amount of pickaxes and coal. For that, uh, we have shaved our uh, silk touch down to 346 durability, but that's unbreaking three on that one. So still got some ways to go. Uh, I have also used a couple of other uh, diamond pickaxes, unenchanted. Oh, and uh, I checked the bow and it said infinity, so I enchanted that one. So we got the uh, power four and unbreaking three with along with infinity. But I have one, two, three, four, five diamond pickaxes, all worn down to one durability. There should be one more here, but I accidentally broke it. And a little ender shelter. We had a enderman flying around here being mad as... Yeah, whatever. Mad as Chuck Norris after being beaten by Bruce Lee or something. Uh, but he ran away. So yeah. A humongous step forward in our fabulous uh, medieval uh, Mediterranean city thing. Make sure to smack that like button if you enjoy the series in our plans for the uh, this series. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and also leave me links uh, Send me some tweets, send me some snaps of uh, cool buildings we might uh, use for our uh, city. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.